Metro Vancouverites appear to be torn when it comes to the impact of new immigrants. According to a poll done exclusively for city news, 54 percent of people in Metro Vancouver believe new immigrants in the region are having a positive impact, while 46 percent disagree. The sentiment is similar in other major Canadian cities, according to pollsters Maru Public Opinion. The survey indicates that support for immigration and the belief that immigrants are having a positive impact on our society appears to be declining. Political scientist Hamish Telford says what he finds most alarming is that the poll suggests an average of 22 percent of people in Toronto, Edmonton, Calgary and Vancouver believe Canada should shut the door to any new applicants into the country for the foreseeable future. That used to be an extreme position in Canadian politics. Uh, and the fact that almost a quarter of the respondents uh, re reported that in our biggest cities where we get the most immigrants, I found very troubling. He attributes the apparent drop in support for immigrants to pressure on the housing market and events in other countries. Canada seemed to be an exception to the trend that we're seeing in other countries in the United States and in Europe. Uh, but we are starting perhaps to catch them up. And I fear that this could get worse before it gets better, unless the federal government is able to reform the immigration system, restore its integrity and its legitimacy with the Canadian public. Different immigration streams get different levels of support, according to the poll. In Metro Vancouver, 28 percent of people believe we shouldn't let in any refugees or protected persons for the foreseeable future, compared to 12 percent who feel the same way about economic or skilled worker immigrants. Support for that type of immigrant is still the strongest. That's the system that we set up in the 1960s. Uh, and, and again, you have to earn a certain number of points in order to be accepted. That's where the consensus was really built around. It's still holding, but it's a little bit lower. The federal government has taken steps to limit the number of newcomers to the country in recent months amid concerns around affordability and housing. In Vancouver, Monica Gould, City News.